Hey there Vault Dwellers, Naked Vault Dweller here and in this video we're going to cover the Fallout 76 Steel Rain quest, Missing Persons. So if you like how to's, tips and tricks, walkthroughs, the occasional dad jokes, some locker room humor, you are definitely in the right place. So take this moment, hit the subscribe button down below, like the video, and hit that notification icon. That way you'll be one of the first to know whenever I release a video in the future. And just like any other quest that's going to be with the Brotherhood of Steel, we're going to start this quest at Fort Atlas. Once you get there, you're going to want to head directly inside so you can talk to Scribe Valdez. And head up to Mezzanine where you can start your conversation with her. When you start the conversation with Valdez, she'll ask if you're available to start working with her now. She'll tell you that Marsha left with a bunch of initiates heading towards Foundation, but never returned. Valdez fears for her safety and asks for you to go out and look for her. Valdez then tells you that you need to go downstairs and talk to her brother Maximo to see if maybe he has some more information about what might have happened to her. Once you make it down to speak to Maximo, he tells you that he fears for her safety as well, but he doesn't know exactly what might have happened to her. He then tells you that you need to go speak to Ramirez, which is located upstairs, to see if maybe he might know where she might have went to. When you go back upstairs to speak to Ramirez, he'll act like there's nothing really going on. There's a plus four perception skill check a little further into the dialogue if you're able to hit that. Digging a little further into my conversation with Ramirez, I discover that Marsh has gone to the Raider camp to join the War Party. War Party or not, our next step is going to be the Raider camp, Crater, which is north on the map. Once you reach Crater, just head north on the other side of town till you get to the War Party abode. And once inside, you're going to see Marsha and Pierce having a conversation about Sheena and Bert. Pierce doesn't warm up to you very well and Marsh is on the outs too because you represent the Brotherhood of Steel and that's everything that they want to try to get away from. Listening to the conversation about Sheena and Burke, apparently the two went off to AMS headquarters to see what they could find. And they haven't been seen since. Working your dialogue magic, you end up convincing Marsha to come with you and you guys go to search for Burke and Sheena at AMS headquarters. And AMS headquarters is located smack dab in the middle of Watoga. Once you arrive, head towards the elevator, and once you're inside the elevator, hit floor 2. Once you make it to floor 2, you're going to find Marsha somewhere in the room. Once you and Marsha have a conversation, you'll then be directed to go to the third floor. Follow your compass over to one of these cylinders that acts as an elevator, and let's go to the third floor. Once on the third floor, you're going to run into a number of mercenaries running around. Also, you're going to have a number of robots that you're going to have to deal with too. Once you've dealt with all the enemies, go back to the beginning where you got off the elevator. You're now going to be tasked to find clues where Burke and Sheena went. Follow me around this way as I lead you to the first location. It's easily overlooked and I know I've probably walked over it about 15 times before I actually saw it lying on the ground. Lying here you'll find a necklace of a dove, just click OK. You'll next be tasked yet again to speak to Marsha where you'll go through some dialogue and then move along. Now the objective will change again to finding clues to where Burke and Sheena went. Work your way upstairs until you get to the location where there's a raider lying up against the railing. And the body of the dead raider appears to have died within the last couple of days. And at this point you'll have more dialogue with Marsha where she'll tell you that she recognizes the raider even though they all kind of look the same to me. The objective will change again and you'll work your way around till you get to this note laying on the ground. It's labeled, Hastily Written Note. After picking up the note, I could see that it was signed by Sheena, and I know that I'm certainly happy that she took the time to write this letter, just so we could find it. Thanks, Sheena! After finally reading the letter, you'll be charged to speak with Marsha once again. During this conversation, she'll start to tell you exactly why she doesn't like being with the Brotherhood of Steel. And once you finish with that conversation, you're going to be tasked once again to find more clues about Burke and Sheena. Head upstairs to where I would consider to be a little lobby area. Marshall will tell you that they need to open that door, so you'll go around to the computer. Once on the computer, you'll find the selection Hellcat Eyes Only. After you select Hellcat Eyes Only, you'll have the option to open the door. Now the objective will change to Find Kit. As you work your way upstairs, more and more mercenaries will pop out to try to kill you. 
At this point, you'll start heading towards the holding area where the blinds of the room will open up, revealing a mercenary by the name of Kit in power armor. Kit, trying to sound intimidating, tells you that no one gets in the way of him and his caps, and finalizes everything by saying this ends now, while unleashing a bunch of robots and mercenaries to attack you. Once you've dispatched all the mercenaries and robots, Kit will emerge from his room with a minigun to try to put you down. And once you've taken care of Kit, you'll get a mysterious letter. At the end of the letter, it's signed B. And don't ask me what the letter said. It has a whole bunch of words on there I didn't want to read. Your quest will update and now you're going to go look for a key. If you go back into the room where we was standing before, you'll go over to one of the terminals where you'll find the AMS basement key. Now your quest will update and tell you that you need to visit the lobby. If you walk just outside the room, you'll find another cylinder elevator that'll take you all the way down to the lobby. Once you're in the lobby, walk over to the door that says AMS Headquarters Basement Lab and go through it. And once inside, you're going to run into a number of Hellcat mercenaries running around. Once you've taken care of the mercenaries, you'll hear Burke and Sheena yelling from a distant room. When you get to the room, Marshall will go in first. Once you go inside, you'll see Sheena and Burke both behind bars in jail cells. And Sheena appears to be okay while Burke is lying on the ground. And it's about this time that Sheena will ask you if you can get him out. Now go over to the computer terminal. Once on the computer terminal, select the cell door control. And this will open the cell doors for both of them. Once the cell door is open, Sheena will leave her cell and go over to console Burke. During this time, you'll have conversations with both Sheena and Marsha. And it's at this point you're going to have a conversation with Marsha, trying to convince her to stay either with the Brotherhood of Steel or to go off with the Raiders. And before anybody asks which choices I made, I actually tried to stay neutral on the Brotherhood of Steel quest. Nonetheless, I directed the conversation with Marsha so that she would stay with the Brotherhood of Steel and her brother. After it's all said and done, Marshall will direct you to speak with Scribe Valdez to decipher what the meaning of the note is and who is B. And once again, you're going to want to load up your map and head back over to Fort Atlas. Once you get back to Fort Atlas, you're going to get back on the catwalk, go back upstairs, and talk to Scribe Valdez. Scribe Valdez will congratulate you on finding Marsha, and then she'll ask you if you found anything else on the mission. It's at this point you can tell her about the letter you found, signed with the letter B. Valdez at this point will determine that the Blue Ridge Caravan Company and the Hellcat mercenaries are all entangled together, and she tells you that you'll need to go talk to Romani to see what she has to say about it. And that will bring us to an end to the missing persons and start the quest out of the blue. The main reward I got from this quest was a mercenary outfit plan, as well as an already made mercenary outfit for me to wear at the end of this video. And that's it for the quest missing persons. If you found this walkthrough to be helpful, give it a thumbs up, or if you're stuck somewhere, leave us a comment down below. I or somebody else might be able to assist you. And until we do the quest out of the blue, we'll see you next time. Take care. She landed. I just jumped on top of this thing and she landed right there with me. What is it doing? <laughs>